Welcome back to our 4th of July special. As we say at the start of every show, and we did tonight, one of our missions is to be pro-family. So we wanted to share with you a new documentary out later this week called Fair Play that shines a light on family gender roles and the overlooked challenges of domestic life. Take a look. When I became a mom, I felt like my identity completely changed. I really didn't understand the amount that she had to endure. Es una presión tremenda. Tremenda, yeah. It goes back to the twisted notion of, well, you just got to ask for their help. I don't want to ask. What time? Yeah, I have two phone calls from work already today. I became obsessed with a quest to figure out what was happening to us. When it comes to care, we're so far behind. We're saying we value work more than we value our families. Joining us now is the writer, director, and producer of Fair Play, Jennifer Siebel Newsom. Jen, great to see you. Um, it's so easy Thanks. to say we're pro-family. Everyone says we're pro-family, but what is it in reality? It's, it's a whole different thing. And what I love about this film is that you really focus on the specifics of what it means to be pro-family and what we need to change in order to make America more pro-family. That's right. Thank you. So really, what we need to do in America is recognize that ma the majority of households are dual income households. The days and ages of women at home, at the kitchen sink, they're far and few between. And we have so many single parent households in this country as well. It really takes a village. And what this film recognizes is that we all have lives outside of work. And the workplace needs to recognize that and uplift that so that people can be their best selves at work. And I'm just so grateful to have been able to make Fair Play because it really was this deep dive into recognizing that the majority of mothers are breadwinners or co-breadwinners. So 84% of black mothers are primary or co-breadwinners, 67% of Native American mothers, 62% of white mothers, and 60% of Latina mothers are primary or co-breadwinners. And that's our new reality. And women today, are doing more domestic work and care work at home than mothers in the 60s. So we have to check ourselves on that and recognize that we've created workplaces that are around men's life patterns and history of only bringing home the bacon and then being taken care of at home. That's an old model. And in fact, it didn't exist for many families, especially families of color. So the new reality is that we have to create workplaces again that recognize that private lives also matter. So it's this dance between the public and the private life that we need to um, unveil and accept and then create policies like childcare and flex time and family yeah. leave uh, that will help move us all forward as a society and enrich our society because we've been doing all of this work on the unpaid um, and invisible uh, backs of women. Exactly. That, that's what's so interesting. I mean, so, and, and one of the things that comes out so strongly, you've got professional women, women who work hard, they go out, they earn the money, often more than the man in the household in, in that traditional setup. And of course, there are families where you have all sorts of different um, arrangements and some, many single parent families as well. And then come home and do a whole second job um, yeah, in terms of the domestic. It's, it's, it's exactly. unpaid, as you say. What, yeah. what, what can we do to... I mean, how, just in terms of the policies, yes. what's, the, what's the sort of central idea? Is it that actually if companies, and let's just focus on the employer piece here, tr gave men more, get, was, set an expectation that men would also be given time to be, uh, do the parental role and the family role, is that one of the directions you'd like to, to move in? Yeah, so there's what needs to happen in the home and what needs to happen at work. At home, fathers need to step into care. There's so many benefits to fathers stepping into care at home. We've actually found that when fathers do 40% of the domestic work and child care, they're less likely to be on prescribed meds or antidepressants. They're happier. They have greater longevity. They have better sex lives. Their marriages are more stable. Their, their partners, if, there are, if their partners are women, their partners have less depression, less stress. They are happier, more fulfilled. They have more leisure time. Their marriages, again, are more stable. Their children benefit, too. And it's, it's um, really cool to hear that if yeah. fathers do percent of the child care and domestic work, the children have less behavioral problems. They have better cognitive development and healthier long-term relationships. So it's a win-win if fathers step into more care at home. 
in the workplace then, we have to reduce the stigma around men playing a role in care. We all know that when you're a father, yeah. you're a caregiver. <laughs> by, by virtue of contributing to the birth of this child, you are a caregiver. It is your responsibility too. And your children, as I mentioned earlier, your partner, and you will all benefit from spending more time in yes. care. And I think coming out of the pandemic, so many fathers actually got a little glimpse of that and recognized that's pretty special. Yeah. And when I die, that's my legacy. These children are my legacy. It's not that last spreadsheet or that extra hour at work. And by the way, you're going to be a better boss, a better leader, a better employee, more creative, mm -hmm. more productive, because you're going to have more balance. I just so, so couldn't work like agree this, more. Yeah. Um, I, so I'm sorry, like we're out of time, Jeff, but I just want to say, okay. um, I'm so sorry, we, we don't have any more time, but I just wanted to say how important it is. Look, we, we, just, people should know, we know each other off camera, we don't always agree on everything in politics, but your films are so important, they, they raise such important issues that often politics finds it hard to deal with. And this is such a great example. I really, really appreciate it. Um, where can people watch the movie? Um, they can watch the movie in select theaters across the country and on Apple TV and iTunes on July 8th. Fantastic. Thank you. Uh, Jen, thank you great. so much. Great, uh, great work with Fair Play. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.